Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can integrate Dynamic Server subsystem with MMO Starter Kit. So, first of all, I have here a new MMO Starter Kit project. So, for example, if I'm gonna press play, the player is gonna be spawned normally. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is first of all, we need to go and copy the DSS plugin to the MMO kit project. So we're gonna copy it in MMO kit project plugins. Okay, great. Now let's open the project again and make sure that the plugin is enabled. We go to edit plugins and then others. Okay, so our plugin is enabled. For sake of demonstration, I'm going to create a new level. I don't know, let's go with basic, basic level. And let's try to save it somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna call it, for example, testing the Okay, great. Now I'm going to close the um, project and then I'll go to the DSS demo. We need to migrate few um, files. So first of all, let's go to blueprints and then let's go to portals. So basically we're going to migrate the BP portal because we need to use it. Right click and then asset actions. After that, we need to press migrate. Okay, so here you're gonna see a lot of files that's gonna be migrated, but there is plenty of it which is not needed. So for example, everything related to Manikan is not needed. Or let's say the game instance, player controller, player state, game modes, um, also everything related to HUD interfaces. So basically we need the structures. Okay, we need the portals and the folder that contains the materials, meshes, and textures. Okay, so let's press OK, and we are going to browse to our MMO kit project content, and press select folder. Okay, great. So now let's go back to our project. You are gonna notice that there is a couple of errors on the migrated portal file, so we are going to fix them together now. Okay, so let's go to third person CPP, blueprints, portals, and let's open our portal. Okay, so simply we need to cast other actor to pp underscore modular player character. Okay, great. After that, instead of character name, we are going to get name and then connect it to character name. Last thing, make sure to connect the execute to uh, on server travel async. Okay, great. So now we are ready. Let's just make a demo setup. So basically what I'm gonna do is I will go somewhere and place a portal with a player start. So for example here, let's place a portal. And then I will place a player start where the player should be spawned. Okay, cool. In order to uh, spawn the player on this player start, we need to give this player start a tag. So, for example, let's call it, I don't know, uh, let's add a tag which is gonna be like, for example, test. 
it doesn't matter if you have like 10 player stars, just give uh, each one a, a meaningful tag and press save. Okay, great. So now this portal should spawn the player somewhere on another map. For that reason, we need to configure the portal configuration here. So let's go to our maps and just copy the uh, uh, asset path. Okay, so this portal should spawn us on the uh, newly created level, which is called testing level. Okay, right click and let's copy the reference. We are going to paste it on the level path, but we are going to modify it. So for example, we are going to remove the uh, level name. The level name is gonna be uh, placed on the level name. And then we need to remove the word at the very first beginning of the path. Okay, seems good, great. Let's call this portal, um, I don't know, new level. Okay, great. So the travel option is going to be tagged because we are going to spawn our player at a player start, which should be tagged something. So I will be using a player start with tag, for example, test. Okay, so now let's go to the um, other map and try to uh, set up a new portal. Okay, so here we are going to have our portal and then this portal should spawn us on Desert Rally map. So we need to copy the full path of Desert, desert Rally map. Okay, so here we go. Level name should be on level name, and then we remove the world from the very first beginning. Okay, great. Let's call it Desert Rally. It's gonna spawn the player on the uh, tag that we have added, which is test. Okay, the last thing that I'm gonna do is I will add here a player start also, and then I will modify the um, player start tag. Let's set it to test. Okay, so now we have our own test environment. Let's go and work on the code. So for that, first of all, we need to create a new C++ game mode. Let's go to uh, <coughs> C++ classes, MMO, new C++ class, all classes, and it should be inherited from game mode and not game mode base. Make sure to inherit it from game mode. Let's call it, for example, uh, MMO game mode and let's create class. Okay, perfect. Going back to Visual Studio, reload all. On the public, we should see the game mode .h and game mode.cpp. So let's start by just copying the prototype of the init new player um, from uh, the SS Lite project, so it should be on source the SS Lite v2, the SS Lite v2 game mode.h. Then let's go to the uh, MMO game mode.cpp, and here we are going to copy the uh, uh, method. Code. But first of all, let's copy the includes. Uh, 
okay great here it should be um, memo game mode okay great let's compile everything okay perfect so you should see something like um, build succeeded now let's go back to our game project okay so now we need to go to blueprints game modes and then BPM or game. Let's go to class settings and we need to reparent it from the newly created um, uh, game mode. It should be MMO game mode. Okay, great. And since we haven't set the player character from inside the constructor of the C class, so we're going to set it here. The default um, one class should be BP modeler player character. Let's compile and save. Okay, so next we need to um, add few blueprints. So let's go to blueprint, user interface, and then we need to go to the WB, WBP main menu on click and then let's double click on enter word this logic here should be modified so we are going to um, create a new event and we are going to call it let's go to the event graph and create a new event let's Call it, for example, enter level. Okay, so now we need to go to um, to the SS Lite demo project, and we need to cap through a few blueprints. Okay, so um, let's go go to HUD and WB server after that we need to go to graph and we need to copy this code here it is on connect first and let's paste it here the player name should be here the uh, my character name and then the connection should be the local host and the port should be 5000 okay next we need to configure uh, whenever the player connect it should be spawned on a default map so we, we are gonna spawn the player on the desert rally map let's copy it's full path we are going to spawn the player based on a tag and the tag should be test Okay, so enter level should be called from enter world. One last thing should be done. So since we are uh, since we are um, spawning the player based on the player uh, start tag. So actually, and we are not saving the. Uh, let's say the current player map on the database. So we are going to go and modify um, something on 
blueprints and then let's go to the MMO player state so we need to bypass that actor transformation otherwise the player is going to uh, change its location always regardless of its map if you want to solve this issue you need to, so to save the uh, player map on the database and then instead of using the player tag you should use the coordinate you should spawn the player based on the coordinate right so we should be good to go let's build our server and give it a try after building the server we need to go and configure the app settings inside dynamic server subsystem server so let's open app settings we need to change the path and we are going here to use the uh, packaging path of the windows server windows Unreal engine servers okay and make sure to set the uh, name of the server file to the correct name next we need to add our maps so we have two maps we have the desert rally and we have the testing level make sure to copy the full path with the level name after that let's try uh, let's give it a try so we're going to start the server here we go two servers should be launched because we have already configured uh, the SS server to launch one instance of testing level and one instance of desert rally so if we go back to the uh, Unreal Engine uh, 5 here let's change the net mode to play standalone because we are going to connect to external servers and then we need to press play we log in and then enter word okay here we go so our player should be spawned on the correct place where the player start with tag test um, placed then if we go throughout the portal we should be spawned on the new level also we could go back to our desert rally map that's it for today thanks for watching see you on another video